Now if you wanted to check the runout of a part, it can't really be done with a gauge like this. Uh, it has a, a way too big uh, contact point here and you'd have to have constant pressure down on it so it moved up and down. So it really is impractical to try to do it with a gauge like this. And what we've done to resolve this is we made a little attachment that fits on here and it has an indicator on it and you just slide it on the top of here and lock it on like so now this is not really checking run out because we sh we're not between centers but just to illustrate if you bring this now down on here until you get a reading and then lock it up and then we can turn the part and follow the reading on the dial and I'm not holding it very well here, but you can see the variation on the dial as we turn that. Should really be between centers. But this little attachment gives you the capability to use the indicator with this stand. And that's why I made it. Now it's made out of a piece of aluminum. It has a screw that goes through here into a hole at the end, which is the same size as this little peg. And just lock it up on that and this has a screw that goes through into the slot which is the same width as the slot on here and it just slides right on there you have some leeway you can move it a little in and out and just lock it up that one's a little crooked and we can lock that up so there's a project if you'd like to be notified of other new modifications please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.